Welcome to another video from explainingthefuture.com. This time I'm going to talk about controlling global warming by building vast solar sails out in space. Since the Industrial Revolution, the level of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere has been increasing. In turn, this higher concentration of greenhouse gases is leading to an increased retention of heat from the sun. To try and prevent excessive climate change, all popular global warming solutions seek to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. However, basic physics tells us that we could happily live with higher greenhouse gas levels if slightly less solar radiation hit the Earth in the first place. In theory, giant, controllable solar sails could be positioned in orbit. These would partially shade the Earth and stop us receiving so much solar radiation. While vast in area, potentially such sails could be made of materials only a few hundred atoms thick. The manufacture of these kinds of materials on a grand scale may also be a future possibility due to developments in nanotechnology. In 2001, Kenneth I. Roy presented a paper on solar sails at the Space Technology and Applications International Forum. According to Roy, 100,000 square kilometres of solar sails may be sufficient to allow us to take control of climate change. Unfortunately, building these sails on the ground and then launching them into space is unlikely to be possible. Solar sails would therefore probably have to be constructed in space, maybe using materials from the Moon or asteroids. The construction of solar sails to control global warming may at first sound like an impossible endeavour. But so too did sending a human being to the Moon in the 1960s, and that mission had no planet-saving ambition. In the future, space-based solar sails could also turn out to be a more viable solution to global warming than persuading billions of people to radically change their lifestyles. Generating interest in solar sails as a potential global warming solution is not easy. Quite aside from the cost and the technical challenges, many environmentalists are wary of any such grand scheme that could deflect attention from their efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. For more information on global warming and a range of possible solutions, please look in the Future Challenges section of Explaining the Future Dot com. But now that's it for another video, and remember, the future is in your hands.